and we're in. And welcome to the first official episode of our Blue Mage Challenge. Last episode, if you can call it that, was just us explaining the um, details of the challenge, the conditions, and, you know, which we're going to play by, and things like that. So to recap you, we're in journey mode only for building, maybe also speeding up on occasion. We can only use weapons that mimic our enemy's attacks, hence the Blue Mage part. And there are certain conditions to get certain weapons. For instance, our first... Oh, look at that. Nice loot. And I don't have any torches. Huh. Which means we need to defeat a slime. Which we can't do because we don't have a weapon. So the first objective we're going to do today... Is not go to the desert. No, our first objective is obviously our first weapon. And don't take me out. We're playing on the hardest difficulty again. You know what? I don't got much money. I... Actually, no, I can't even see a little bit. I'll say, I'll just brave the deep. So yeah, our first goal today is our very first Blue Mage weapon. Where, like I said, are we are limited because we have to use weapons that our opponents use. Or our enemies, the monsters, whatever you want to call it. For instance, slime. I can't do anything with them. The slime staff wouldn't be mimicking attack if summoning a slime to do my bidding. So, you might be asking, well then, what's our first weapon? By the way, I will upgrade this house eventually, but it's a nice starter version. And like I said, every time we get an NPC, we must first make a house for them. A proper house and a halo, and they cannot be uh, duplicates. Which means I can't just do the same house over and over. Ow, this is bad. Wait a second, I believe I am on the right difficulty. Yes, I am. I turned off all the settings, don't worry. Like I said, the journey mode is just for building and maybe speeding things up. For instance, during the night, rather than just sitting here for 20 minutes, I'll speed up time because I'm not doing anything anyways. So our objective, I guess, there we go, is to break a pot to get some torches, which I'm not getting. And all the stuff is going to be trashed. I can't see anything. I'm just going to swing wildly and hope I break... Nope. Blink root. Torch. There we go. Alright, this is what we're looking for. A torch. So we can actually see. We're not placing them because we can't... Well... We can't, uh make torches right now, so we gotta take what we can get. Really? We just started this world. Literally, last episode, me just building the house and this, and I'm already getting the slime event? Is that good luck or bad luck? Okay, we have some bombs, some rope. Nice. So, what's our first weapon? Well, when I was looking through everything, there's realistically only one weapon we can get at the beginning of this game. Oh yeah, I forgot we are going to need some metal for what- nope, that's tin. And that's tungsten. We need iron or lead. And also not to get one shot. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge, but that's why it's a challenge run. Oh, and I saw that. Let me neutralize that because I'm about to go. Bye-bye. And even if I wasn't, I have nowhere to go. Okay, take me out, slime. Or not. Alright, can we make it through? Almost. This is difficult to do in the dark. And yeah, I know I was thinking about doing the shine poacher thing, which I think I'll do once we have access to torches. But as we don't, we kind of need to... Let's see, that's gold. That's, I guess, good for armor? Okay, I will place one torch. Because I'll be doing some mining. But we're, how are we not finding the one mineral we need? Okay, that's a mouse. I was going to say, what is that? And no, that's not going to count. That was an accident. But let's say, it's not going to be challenged over. I killed a mouse with my pickaxe. Okay, make our way through here, there we go, grab our torch again. Ooh, life fruit, or a heart crystal. 
that's actually pretty big. In fact, I'm gonna consume that right now. Because survivability is the name of the game when we first start off. Oh, uh, the thrill of a new adventure. Sometimes I hate it, but considering this is a challenge run, it's actually, I'm looking forward to it. Most of the time I hate the very beginning because of one simple reason. It just takes forever to get looted up. Oh, that's a pressure plate. Uh, I think I have rope. Yes, I do have some rope. So, right here. There we go. I am tempted, but I'm 99% sure that's just a boulder. Crap. Okay, I got it. We're looking for them, tungsten and tin. Oh, that. I saw it the last second, but luckily we survived. What's that statue? A seagull statue. And there it goes. I knew it was going to happen. That's going to happen a lot these first few episodes, because I can't even defend myself. But we did achieve our first objective. We did achieve our first objective. Sorry about that. Slime rain. No. Uh, getting torches. Actually, see, this is where skipping ahead with time is actually going to be useful, because I'm not going to be able to leave my house. Yeah, so rather than wait it out, which we can do, or hope the guy to take him out, this is why we are in journey mode. Normally, I would just sit in the attic and wait for Slime Rain to stop. But thanks to journey mode, so that way all of you don't have to put up with it, I'm just going to sit here and speed it up till it's not falling anymore. And then I'll speed up through the night. Because, obviously, if we can't deal with slimes, we can't deal with zombies and eyeballs. At least not yet. All right, a little bit faster. You can stop raining now. Fallen well, Storm, actually good to collect because we will be using magic weapons a lot. Okay, slime has officially stopped falling. Good. Now we just have to... Is there a shooting... Hmm. And now I'm trapped. Well, there's only one thing to do in this situation. We gotta reload the world. Be right back. As I sit here, I wonder. Was this chair always blue? And we're back. Sorry about that. Had to reload the world because we were surrounded by slimes. I mean, again, is that good luck or bad luck? The fact that we start a world and literally the first night... Slime rain. Whatever. We have our goal achieved of getting torches, so we can actually see in the dark. Our next goal is to get metal, and not the gold, iron, and tin. Or not gold, tungsten, and tin we've been getting. Now, we need something more. We need the actual building metal. And living wood items, cool. For building purposes again, you know, great for building a home for the Dryad. But I'm hoping this tunnel will lead us to... It led us to nothing. Absolutely nothing. Place a torch so I can see. Oh, we're not getting the best start, are we? Not at all. So what I'm thinking is we take some of this extra dirt, or wood, building material, we block this off here like so, and we, um, dig down. I know, I know, digging down. Brilliant idea. Well, when you ain't got nothing else, you gotta go with something, right? Only problem is this water, so what I'm going to do is dig a little canal over here to drain some of it. Like so. There we go. And now I can do the same thing over here. So that way we can jump out of it. There we go. And yes, I know the water would make a great cushion. 
But that is not what we're doing. Alright, a little bit more. Again, early game Terraria. What do you expect to happen? A whole lot of nada. That's enough. Alright, back to digging down. We're looking for a cave with the metal. The metal we're looking for? Iron slash lead. What have we not found? Iron and or lead. Wait, there it is. Lead. Where is I bring it up? There's only a little bit. Well, we found it. And we know it is now lead. Sorry, I'm trying to think of where we go from here. We have lead. I don't recall how many pieces it is for a bar. I want to say five or three. Luckily, we do have torches from the pot we've gathered, so we can build a furnace, even though we can't defeat a slime. Hmm. Let me grab that back, and let's go back to looking for... Lead. We now know it's a lead world. I like the look of lead, but I think I prefer iron overall. Nothing wrong with lead. I have to think it's technically stronger than iron in this game, but... I don't know. Alright, we're a little bit further down. Again, I apologize for these first couple of episodes. It's going to be a bit boring while we get everything situated. But today, we're looking for lead. Most of all the lead? Well, we need that for... A bucket! Yes, and for those of you who say, wait, a bucket? This sounds familiar. Yeah, it would. This is what most people used to do when they wanted to play as, as a as a summoner. You would have to start a world, get some iron together, get a bucket together, and then with that bucket, you would, you know, endlessly kill slime for 20 hours until you got slime stuff, and then, hooray, you could start playing a summoner. We're going to be doing something similar to that, only it's not... Slimes we're killing for a slime staff. I already said we can't do that. Instead, what we will be doing is zombie killing. I'd be saying, what? Why zombies? Zombies don't give magic. Well, like, ooh, sapphire. Well, like I'll say, it doesn't technically have to be a magic item, just has to be an item or an attack the enemies in this game use. Okay, you know what? I'm swapping these for the original torches. There we go, we can see a little better. So that's tungsten, a little bit of lead. Gotta place a torch, darn it. I'll pick it back up. Alright, a little bit more lead, but we're looking ideally for enough lead for... I don't know, three, four buckets? I think that would be a good amount. And of course, whatever gold we can find. Oh, and I can do that, I guess, while I'm here. There's a trick you can do with cobwebs early on. I don't remember if I did in the collector's playthrough or not, but it's a pretty handy trick. Just for beginning, obviously. Anything after that is, I'm not going to say worthless, but it loses value. Alright, we need lead and gold, lead and gold. So, I, we rolled, what, 50? No. Ideally, the worlds I like to run. Well, I mean, I guess I could get this tungsten just for some armor. Until we can get gold armor. The world I like to run has copper instead of tin. Actually, you know what? I think I do like lead more than iron now that I think about it. So it'd be copper, lead, tungsten, and platinum. So we got two of the four. We got tungsten and we got lead. Is that lead right there? Yes! I knew I was smart to go for the tungsten. And it looks like a decent amount of lead. But you know what? I don't want to perish, so... Let's just hope we don't get a worm. I don't think we're far enough down for a worm, but let's just hope. With this tungsten, I hope we get some tungsten armor, or at least an armor piece. The reason I'm not doing wood armor is because wood is basically worthless on the hardest difficulty. Oh yeah, nice chunk of lead. With this, we should be able to get at least two buckets. I'm hoping four, but not any more than four. Alright, a little bit more. Beautiful. And then, well, that'll be our first objective accomplished. Okay, there's two more bits of lead. I will get every bit. You know, it's always funny in a game like this. You start off and you're like, oh, I'm so desperate for lead. Oh, I'm so desperate for tungsten. Oh, I'm so desperate for gold. 
literally in like a couple episodes, I'll be having more than enough of each. It's like, I needed this at one point. I love that about some games. Okay, how much lead? That's 33. So if it's three per bar, that gives us 10 bars. I think that's enough for exactly three buckets. But you know what? I feel like pressing my luck. Let's dive a little bit deeper down. All right, down we go. And I know there's an enemy down here, so... Technically it's faster than using a potion, because, well... The only thing we have, because we don't have a magic mirror, are potions. A little bit more. Once we get our buckets, we can consider today's objective accomplished. Tomorrow's is going to be hard. Mm, tungsten is going to be a difficult one. Wait, is that more lead? Yes, I hit the jackpot. Tungsten and lead. There should be plenty enough for buckets. Don't know about making four buckets, but I'll be happy with just two. I think I can make two work, rather. There we go. And now let's get some of this beautiful tungsten. And I think we do a run gun. Or not a run gun, a running mission. Or basically, I'm just going to run and see what we can find before we perish. Oh, that yellow slime has our name on it. Be careful. A little bit. Oh, is that a home? Oh, this is... Okay. Mm, that looks... That is a house. I'm going to have to sacrifice this tungsten for it. Wait, maybe I... Do... Nope. Maybe... If only this had a little bit more range. Okay, I'm just going. Whew. That was close. And here's a little trick if you have limited lighting. Just mine the chandelier up and put it back. If you... There we go. Okay, we have a mace. Great! If we were doing a melee playthrough or playthrough where we could use that, but we aren't. So that's a waste. Oh well. Okay, can we grab this last piece of tungsten real quick? Before the slime. There we go! Run! What can we find? Dirt. And antlines. Okay. Now let's go to the first and see how many buckets we got. And if we have any tungsten armor. Pretty successful first episode, all things considered. Especially when you consider the fact we got slime rain. Again, is that good luck or bad luck or somewhere in between? Okay, crafting table. We can have our furnace. And I'm going to have to put some of these torches, or this chest down, so we can clear up our inventory. Because somehow that's already cluttered. And I'm just going to throw everything in here. We'll sort later when we have the reasons to sort. Flare, arrows, not really useful. That wood's useful. We'll keep that. Oh, what fun, what fun lies ahead. Keep our building materials. We'll keep some bombs on us. We'll keep our recall potions and our rope. We don't really need the rest of these. There you go. We can place down some more chests so we have a storage area. All right. There we go. So, let us now do this, this, okay, furnace, boom, I forgot the tungsten, but we have lead bars, yay, we make buckets, no, because you need an anvil, I forgot about that, now I can make buckets, yes, oh, it's only two pork, one, two, Oh, I hate you, game. Do you mind if I do a do-over real quick? Yeah, off camera I'll bring a bucket back in. Actually, no. Nope, I screwed up. I screwed up. I will take it. So now we have a lead door. I'll have to build around it. Literally. Don't let the slime in. Okay, tungsten, tungsten, tungsten. There we go. Tungsten armor. I don't think we'll have enough for anything, but let's see. 
and we can make a helmet. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Alright, so our first day was successful if I didn't screw it up. We have tungsten armor going. And more importantly, we have buckets. And a door I didn't mean to craft. But, like I said, I'll have to build a home for everything. So, I guess now I have a door to build around for the next home. Whenever we're ready to expand. But now we have buckets. So, what's the purpose of these buckets? Well, as I hinted at... You get lava to use, or summoners used to use lava to, you know, catch slimes. Or what they would do is, okay, let me try this again. Basically, what all summoners used to do, old, not all summoners, when they wanted to do a pure summoner playthrough, was they had to get a lava bucket, or a bucket, they had to then get it with lava. They would have to create an area like this house, put lava on the outside of it, and let slimes die repeatedly to a lava until one dropped a slime staff. No longer the case now with the finch staff, but that's how it used to be. So I'm going to use a similar method to get our first weapon, the zombie arm. Now you might be asking, what? Well, if you... Okay, I'm logging out of here because the guide's about... Well, does this work as a house? Yes, it does. Okay, they lived. Zombies have a chance to drop a zombie arm, a weapon that is usually overlooked when you're doing a melee playthrough or something like that. Oh cool, you got me some gel and some copper. Now don't go outside again. In fact, I'm going to block these off so you can't. I really don't like the NPCs in this game. They are just make the dumbest decisions. Anyways, so I'll be doing the same thing to get a zombie arm. When night comes, I'll create buckets, or use buckets of lava to create a lava area for them to drop the zombie arm. Now, I might be asking, wait a second, did you save to require, or you have to, you know, three requirements or whatever to get an item? To which I say, yes. So, once I get a zombie arm to drop, the only way I can use it by learning the magic, is I have to survive, keyword there, survive, ten attacks, from a zombie equipped with a zombie arm. That will fulfill the idea of getting hit by a magic attack enough to learn it. Once I have survived 10 attacks from a zombie wielding a zombie arm, I will have access then to our first weapon, the zombie arm. Yeah. It's going to be a while before I get our first weapon, but that's why it's a challenge. So let's have some fun with this playthrough. I can't wait to do more. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing. This has been the Mechanist, logging off. Until next time.